guys, it's Shannon. Welcome to today's video. Now, as you can see from the title, today's video is a little bit random. It's totally different from what we usually do on this channel. But I had an art project that I wanted to do for my room, and so I figured why not record it for you guys. So today, I'm going to be taking this canvas picture and turning it into something that's my own. It doesn't really go with the decor of my room, and my mom absolutely used this in her living room but she recently redecorated, so she doesn't need this anymore. So I figured instead of throwing it away, why not turn it into something that I might like and something that I can make. Yeah, I'm just gonna paint over it and we're going to try to do one of those um, blowouts for paint. Um, apparently all you need is obviously paint and a blow dry. So we're gonna see how it works out. Hey guys, so all I did was take an old sheet that I wasn't using and I just laid that down. I didn't have any plastic protective covering or anything like that. So I just found this old sheet and I figured this would be, this would work just fine. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off with white. Obviously I want to cover up this old picture and I wanna start off from a blank canvas. So I'm just going to Grab my white paint and paintbrush. So I'm gonna use this one. Okay. So pour this on. I'm hoping this is not good enough. like it's gonna do a pretty decent job at coloring. I might have to do a second coat, but that's okay. Now, I am not a artist, professional, or you know, anything like that. So, like this is literally the first time I've ever done this. So um, don't quote me or, you know, any techniques I'm using or anything I'm literally I'm just painting that's all so So after painting the canvas white, I realized that the paint that I was using wasn't as loose as I was hoping it would be. So I needed to loosen it up with just a little bit of water. I didn't have any um, plastic um, cups or anything like that. So I just used plastic bottles that I had left in the recycling bin. Just cut the tops off of those, put the paint in them. And then um, I would put a little bit of water in the paint bottles I was using shake it up and then just mix that in with the rest of the paint and that did pretty well at loosening it up.
All right, so at this point, my camera decided to stop recording. So as you can see, I've started pouring. Um, and you'll see how I poured these colors in a few minutes. Um, the colors that I'm using, I will definitely be leaving in the description box below for you guys. And uh, yeah, let's continue on with the video. Okay, now with the blow dryer, you want to make sure you have the flat attachment and you want to start off with a low blow uh, just so that you don't splatter the paint everywhere. Just start off with low and then once you um, get comfortable, then you can go up to a higher setting. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished product. I'm not sure how I feel about it right now. Um, it totally turned into something different from what I was um, picturing in my head. Um, sorry, that's my shadow. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I had to um, help out the edges a bit. I don't know if y'all can tell to use my fingers um yeah i don't know i don't know we will see um planning on putting it over there on that wall because that wall is blank and so once it dries um we'll see what it looks like up there and that is the end of this video i ended up really liking it i had fun i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and remember we post new videos every week so hit that subscribe button see you guys next time bye